Ben here, back with another video for you. Now today, I'm out in the garage. It is freezing cold outside. It is about, I don't know, it's been down about negative 10 lately, so I don't know what it is out there right now, but I know it is cold. You know, it's been up and down single digits to negative degrees Fahrenheit, we're talking now. So negative 10 Fahrenheit, do the math on that. It's cold, I know that. In here in the garage with the heater running, it's not well heated in here, but even with the heater running, I've got the fireplace running and uh, I've even had the kerosene heaters run a little bit. It's still only up to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit in here. So I still see my breath. It is still cold. It's nice sitting over next to the fire, but everywhere else it's a little chilly in here yet. I have a piece of walnut wood here. This is just a branch off of one of the walnut trees that I cut back last month or two. And uh, I had it on the firewood pile for firewood. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make a picaroon out of this. Now, if you're not familiar with a picaroon, it's similar to an axe. It's just a small pointed handled uh, tool to pick up firewood and logs, move things around a little bit. I never even really heard of them before, to be honest with you. Like I said, I'm no professional. I just do this stuff kind of hobby work. So this is kind of a new thing to me, pointed out actually by one of you guys. So uh, I'm just going to take and cut this down and then put it up on the lathe and try to spin it and see if I can make a handle out of it. You know, figure if I can make my own handles, why not just make something instead of buying something? Now, the problem with walnut is, you can see in that branch, the heartwood is only really, you know, less than an inch in diameter all this fine sapwood around the outside I wonder if uh, I wonder if I have a piece of slab wood out back that might work better than this I'm trying to do it out of these logs that fifth on that is only that big I'm gonna give up on that plan B instead of doing them with them that piece of slab wood here big piece but it's got that dark wood all the way through it I think I'm gonna cut this down and try to use this I'll put it on the saw and cut it down to 36 inches put it on a table saw and cut it down and then put it in the lathe and spin it
way to make my head.
if I would just hammer that in there. I'm gonna. Okay. That's the worst of <laughs> It's gonna break. There's what we got, two pickaroons or hookaroons or whatever you want to call them from lawnmower blades and a piece of slot wood. Can't beat that. Now of course mine is the one on the left with the real small non ornate handle and my brothers who has to compete with me always went and made the one on the right. Of course his head looked better so I had him reprofile mine a little bit too. And he went and got fancy with the handle on it. But there you go, two pickaroons. <laughs>